CGTN published an email, allegedly from Pong, to the head of the WTA, saying she's not missing or unsafe, she's just resting. Oh, and those sexual assault allegations aren't true either. The sexual assault allegations she had posted on her own social media account, totally not true. Yep, Peng Shui is fine. She's just resting, you know, pining for the fjords. When the CGTN email failed to convince anyone, a state-run media worker posted photos of Peng Shui that were supposedly from her WeChat account. The third photo in particular attracted a lot of attention, since she's holding a kung fu panda in front of a photo of her with Winnie the Pooh. What does that mean? But even that failed to reassure people for some reason. So next, Hu Shi Jin, the editor-in-chief of my favorite Chinese state-run media, the Global Times, started posting videos of Peng Shui having dinner in a restaurant. In the first video, people mentioned the date out loud, as you do when eating dinner. In the second video, the date is written on the door, which is a normal thing restaurants do. I'm just surprised Hu Shi Jing didn't show a picture of Peng Shui reading the newspaper, too. But the next day, who did post videos of Peng Shui signing autographs at a youth tennis match. See, there she is, smiling, in public. If anyone is still worried about Peng's safety, it's clearly because they are dark, twisted people who live in terrible countries.